All right, for those of you who've seen some of my old videos or personally know me, you know that I have a pretty weak stomach. Basically, I mean, like, if I sniff water, I, I poop myself. So because of this, I can constantly come up with really stupid stories about bathroom stuff. So it's been a while, and here's another story. Poop story number six. So there's this uh, store in Michigan called Big Lots. It's it's basically like an upscale garage sale from Detroit. It's, it's kind of like Walmart had a baby and then didn't really want anything to do with it. Or it's like the Salvation Army had a boob job and now considers itself pretty. So I just walked into the store and I, I, I can't remember what I ate that day. Probably air. I was walking around and then all of a sudden my stomach had started to play Nickelback, you know, because Nickelback sounds like shit. <laughs> I had to go. So first I needed to know where the bathroom was. I used my eagle eye to look into the distance. All the way to the back of the store was the bathroom. <gasps> I had to get there quick, my butt was springing a leak. So I ran through the drink aisle, and I ran through the canned food aisle, and I ran through the potted plant. Two for one deal? That's actually, that's actually a pretty good deal. I should probably buy some, oh I gotta go. I darted into the bathroom and there was just one stall. I grabbed the door and I pull it towards me and notice that the entire wall starts to come with it. That's right, the entire stall wall was connected by a teeny little thread from falling down. I so carefully opened this door. It's like I was picking up somebody's little booger napkin. So I run and I jump on that toilet seat. I release the Kraken. Boom! Get it? Get it, Kraken? Crack, like, like butt crack. <laughs> All right, so, so five minute break. A little beads of sweat dripping. Drip it from my forehead. Then I started to get that gurgle again, that loud gurgle noise. It sounded like a fat guy slurping a milkshake. I'm not, I'm not even that in shape. Like, I, I don't even know why I say jokes like this. So then the earthquake came. Boom! On the second shot, the automatic flush went down. The pure force of it all wind chimed my balls. It created some gravitational pull around me. And then that stupid wall started to move. All that force and the automatic flush, it somehow pushed the wall and the wall just started to... <coughs> What's wrong with my... What is wrong with my voice? There comes a time in everybody's life where everything goes in slow motion. I'm sitting here watching this wall I haven't even grabbed the toilet paper yet. Even if I grab the toilet paper, how am I gonna get done and somehow open this door without the wall falling? What if it falls when I'm in there and people walk in and here I am sitting and I'm like, Aah. I grabbed every little piece of toilet paper like I had T-Rex arms. I somehow got cleaned up and now it was time to leave. By this time, there was this little teeny piece of tape that was holding up the entire stall wall. I grabbed the door with my little hand, opened it slowly. <laughs> the damn wall falls right on my feet. Oh, oh, mother fuck! After this loud bang, sure enough the stupid automatic flush goes off again. So you got and then you got Somebody probably thought I was fighting a lion in there. I, I, I didn't even wash my hands. I didn't even wash my hands. I just I just got out of that stupid bathroom. On my way out, there was a guy coming the other way that was going to go into the bathroom. I know this sounds like a line out of a movie, but this is seriously the words that came out of my mouth. He made eye contact with me. I looked right back at him and I said, do not go in there. <laughs> Guys and gals, I'm Paul Solano. I swear, I swear these stories are true. You can't make this crap up. Did you have any embarrassing bathroom stories? Why not tell me the short version in the comments below? Or you can send me a link to one of your videos about it through Twitter. And you know what helps my channel? If you hit that thumbs up button right below the video. You know somebody else that likes poop humor? Share the video with them. I come out with new videos every Thursday slash Friday. Oh, hey. If you look over here somewhere, you'll see a playlist that you can click on with more poop stories of things that I experienced. 
and below that is my face. If you're not one of my guys and gals and you need to subscribe, click that. Goodbye.